As you're well aware, there is a near total solar eclipse that will take place across parts of the United States on April 8th of 2024. As of this video, that means that will happen tomorrow. And as is the case with any large scale event these days, there seems to be a, a penchant for, that individuals have in order to do their best to whip individuals into a frenzy or a state of fear for no apparent reason whatsoever or possibly just to attract clicks or views or likes or whatever the social media metric may be. Now, to that end, I have been keeping a close eye on the news coming out about this upcoming solar eclipse, and I saw one article that had been shared around, and it obviously has already been debunked, but it was an individual who took it upon themselves to post to a social media platform and say that uh, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, also known as CERN, C-E-R-N, would be starting up their Large Hadron par Particle Collider on April 8th, the date that coincides with the eclipse, in an attempt to open some sort of gateway or portal. As I said, this has already been uh, debunked as misinformation, but I found myself looking at the article and seeing how many individuals chose to share it on social media and realizing in the here and now in 2024, there are individuals out there who are so ready to believe whatever latest calamitous proclamation may be that they will amplify a message that ostensibly is completely untrue. But why is that the case? Obviously, we know over the past several years, they would even argue decades in some cases, there's been so much the government and the powers that be have done to undermine any sort of trust that the average individual would have in them, then it leads people to these ends where they begin saying, oh my gosh, well, I guess maybe the sky is falling here and there. We can't, don't know what to believe anymore. And I understand how those people may feel. But I also realize that there's so many people out there who seem to want to be told what to do now more than ever as it pertains to this a solar eclipse event that's coming up. There were so many articles I also saw about uh, state governors and even counties uh, across the country that were saying we're going to invoke emergency powers now and we're going to urge individuals to stay home and uh, take all these precautions because of this upcoming solar eclipse. They're acting as if humanity has never experienced this before. And if you're aware of how the solar eclipses work or even that astrological phenomena in general work, typically there's a solar eclipse about every 18 months. OK, what's different, though, is that depending on where you are in the world, you may or may not be able to see this eclipse. Here in America, the last solar eclipse, even partial one that we had was back in 2017 during Trump's first term. And afterwards, after this event coming up on April 8th, the next one is not going to be until estimated around the year 2044. So yes, in this particular area of America, there's a swath of about 13 states that will see an almost total uh, solar eclipse where the moon is going to pass in front of the sun. And this has happened time and time again. But now all of a sudden, it's as if these same entities, these same organizations, corporations, elected officials, they're almost borrowing pages from the, the COVID playbook from old saying, stay home, be safe. Oh, stock up on that. We're going to have some emergency powers and all this all this garbage that the average official who loves power is going to try to trot out again uh, in correspondence with this solar eclipse event. Now, I'm here to tell you that regardless of your beliefs, conspiratorial or otherwise, you have to understand that there's a large number of people in this country who obviously fell for the scam that was perpetrated on the American people in the world over the past uh, four plus years now. And those same individuals who listened or who got distracted by social media story, oh my gosh, we should go out and get a bunch of toilet paper. Oh my gosh, we should do this and that back a few years ago. They seem to be the same ones who probably are still, you know, wearing masks in their cars alone. And they have become so utterly the antithesis of being self-reliant that now they're saying, oh, my gosh, government, please tell me what to do. Please save me from this completely normal event that's happened unknown numbers of time throughout human history. This is nothing that you should be so worried about that. Oh, my gosh, we have to get the kids out of school. Oh, my gosh, I have to get the day off of work because who knows what's going to happen. And it's this, this weird state of paranoia a lot of people fall into when they feel as if it is the government's job to tell them what to do every step of the way. It's very disquieting noting how many individuals will choose to either give credence to what can otherwise best be described as dubious news, 
as related to individuals who truly do want to be self-reliant. If you really were scared of this solar eclipse coming up, then you probably should have been taking precautions and knowing this was going to happen much before, you know, the day of or the day before or the week before the event takes place. But also, we are living in such a time and such a day and age that if, let's say, hypothetically, Trump was to come out and say, you know, everyone who's watching this video of mine, you probably shouldn't look uh, directly at the solar eclipse for extended periods of time because the experts say that that can actually damage your eyes. If he actually came out and said that, so juvenile is the average individual on the left's uh, ideology at this point that they would actually spitefully look directly into the sun for a long period of time during a solar eclipse just to say that we don't want to listen to what Trump has to say. And remember, most of these people on the left are the same ones who want to be told what to do, who want to be told what to think. Oh, we probably shouldn't go here, shouldn't go there. Oh, buy this, buy that, stay home, do this, do that. Listen to us, we're here to take care of you. Stay home, watch Netflix, get super fat, don't work out. And that seems to be their preferred state of existence in the here and now. But even as I've uh, gotten closer to this event myself, I realize that if there was something that would take place, if I was a betting man, I would bet that the eclipse that's coming up as of this video tomorrow is probably going to be another nothing burger. But one thing that made me begin to question and pay more attention to this is how much effort and energy is being placed on, oh, this is a big event. This could cause outages here and there. Why is it that that seems to become or seems to be becoming the prevailing narrative? And if I had to guess, it would be because there could be some other things that are going to take place behind the scenes around this and directly after this total solar eclipse. And those in power and the media apparatus, the mainstream media apparatus, they're all too happy to distract you with the latest new thing. And they're twisting this into, oh, my gosh, this is a once in a lifetime. This could be a, a very dangerous event. And what are they distracting you from? Such is the nature of distrust that the average individual like myself has towards the mainstream media. That's where my mind goes initially. But if I had to bet, I would say nothing related to this solar eclipse is going to cause the end of the world as we know it. And if you're a logical thinking person who's done their due diligence, you'll probably agree with my sentiment there. But the reason I'm bringing this up to the fore is because there is a responsibility individuals, especially on social media, have and trust me, if I wanted to get a bunch of clicks and likes, I would say, oh, you better stock up on some food, everyone. Oh, you better like and share this video. Oh, you better do this and that and the other thing. And I'm really not trying to do that with this video because I'm just trying to help y'all realize that it's very possible that you could be being taken for a ride right now as it relates to this event, which has happened, like I said before, plenty of times in the past across the world. So why is it now that we're, we're seeing uh, organizations close down for the day? Oh, we're seeing schools shutting down. We're seeing state governors invoke emergency uh, powers. And we know when they invoke those powers, they're loath to give them back. For an event that should not be such a, a touch point for whatever cacophony or brouhaha we're going to see across the social plane. That's the question I want you to think about with this video is why is it? that everyone is, seems to be, or not everyone, but a large number of people seem to be in a state of uh, chaos uh, around this event. Why is it that people don't simply realize when they are possibly being taken for a ride? And why is it that so many people actually do have valid questions about what might happen in the background as this total solar eclipse uh, sweeps across the country uh, tomorrow? Those are the questions we should think about, and the answers may be disconcerting, but they have to be answers that we arrive upon ourselves. And then we also have to hopefully snap people out of this trance they're in where they want to be told what to do and they want to live in fear all the time and, and that they want to have the government take care of them and realize that the true self-reliance and confidence should come from within. And that's the message for this video. Let's pray. In Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9, we are reminded that what has been will be again, what has been done will be done again. There is nothing new under the sun. So God, for those individuals out there who are afraid of what may be to come with this uh, solar eclipse, I, I ask you to reach out and reassure them and remind them that uh, you are in charge of the story, that your will will be done, and that uh, we should not live in a spirit of fear. Your, your word tells us that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And I ask for extra sound minds as we go through this uh, solar eclipse. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to see your creation at work. 
And we ask you to give us the strength and the resilience to reach out and comfort individuals who may be feeling as if uh, the end of the world is coming because only one person knows when that will happen. And that is you and you alone. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. If you like this video, all I ask you to do is to press that share button with somebody, share it with somebody else who might need to uh, hear the truth and hear a different point of view and not be susceptible to these uh, mental games, mental manipulation that they are all too often being bombarded with. Uh, but I say it's all the time. You don't have to go to seminary to understand the Bible. You don't have to be a Michelin star chef to know how to cook. You don't have to be a political science whiz to understand the way politics works. But thank you so much, guys, for watching. This is Damani Feld. You can find me on Facebook, find me on X, find me on YouTube, find me on Twitter, find me on TikTok, find me on Rumble, find me on Telegram, find me on True Social, find me on Gab. The list goes on and on. I continue to use the talents God's given me to the best of my abilities. And I thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. But until next time, I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I'll catch you in the next one.